Hey Fire Signs, Aries, Sagittarius and Leo, if you have tuned in, this reading is for you and I just felt like I was in a space where I wanted to do some messages for you and sort of just free flow the reading so there's nothing in particular I'm really going to ask here, it's just going to be sort of try to channel current energies that you're finding yourself in wherever you are in your relationships um, or wherever you are at in your love lives so hopefully there is something here that's going to reveal what's going on um, around you so I really appreciate you joining me um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I am posting quite uh, often these days so um, stay tuned for that otherwise let's let's investigate the current energy you're coming into in your relationships what's happening around you what's the theme around you okay energy this is really powerful there's a big shift in energy that's taking place here fire signs and you're going to start to notice this I think you're coming into very open energy. Now you can see she's wearing this fire, this fire red cloak and she's got her arms open. Now this is you and you are emitting a very open or a very receptive energy to love, to your person or to potential love interests. So I'm seeing a lot more energy is being injected into your love life. And, and I feel like there's a lot of activity that's coming up where there previously wasn't. Uh, we see the moon here. So this activity could definitely um, be something around maybe a cancer or during the time of cancer that may affect you somehow. Um, but it's emotional activity. The moon is emotion. So I feel like you're opening up to someone, you're giving them a chance or you're becoming more open to love or you're taking chances with someone that you wouldn't normally would or you're tolerating a lot more than you normally would. But I think this energy is going to be well received. Now, she also is a very, uh, a very potent symbol of sexuality here. So there's a lot of activity happening in that side of things, which is great. You know, welcome it in, enjoy it, embrace it. Um, have fun with it but i feel like you're going to be so buzzed with this energy let's let's just see what else comes up around this because i feel like it's almost like an overpowering energy um there could be the no you know she can be demanding and controlling so this is you know stepping things up a little bit uh fire signs okay the devil. So we've got Capricorn, but the devil can be this sort of um, intimate energy that's coming up and it's very powerful. Um, it's even borderline obsessive and we've got the four, which can be Aries. All right. So there is a lot of risks. Okay. This is a bit of a dangerous affair or a secretive affair or something that's taking place here that's either behind closed doors Um or it's, it's almost like there's a bit of risks. There's a bit of controversy happening around the love connection here around your fire signs. People are talking, okay? Either people are talking about you, they want to get to know you, or they're asking people about you. I'm telling you, this kind of energy you're attracting is attracting a lot of people here. Um, now, the Page of Swords says to me, you are feeling the connection rather than thinking it through. You're just going whatever you're feeling with. And that's that's the kind of mindset you're in right now. You're not really listening to the words of a person. You are following their actions and you are responding with your own action rather than with your words. And that's okay. Sometimes we need to feel our way through it rather than talk about it. But right now, you don't want to talk about anything. You just want to sort of go with what's happening. You don't really need the validation. I don't think you want the validation. You may even be fearful of the words a person is going to say to you. So I think with the Six of Wands, you're in a place of feeling good or feeling complacent. The Eight of Cups is your curiosity is getting deeper. And I'm telling you, you're going to be much more open than you previously were. There's a big shift in your energetic field. Um, and you're going to be taking a lot more risks with the Fool card. Now, with the Fool, it can be like... Some of you are falling and you feel helpless in a way and you don't have the control that you thought you had. Or you may feel like someone around you is making you lose your control, but it's an addiction or it's an addicting situation or person. Or most of all, it's an addictive feeling and you're just feeling your way out um, through that with that devil energy here. It could even be something or someone is wrong for you, but you're going ahead with it anyway. Or it could be like you have done something 
maybe someone that's not been happy with, okay, you might have done something they might have gotten hurt with or upset over, um, but it's almost like you're not letting it phase you with the Six of Wands. It's almost like you're completely disregarding it, going, well, you know what, I still know my worth, I still know you're going to be here at the end of the day, that's why I'm not changing. It's it's a little bit relentless, okay, and it's, it's you know, sometimes we, we pluck up the courage and we, we, we have the nerve to do these things, um, and I think what you're coming into is like a really bold energy and you're happy with it. You're happy with it. You don't want to change. You don't want to conform. Um, but back to that sort of eight of cups, going into depth or, or trying to search for something deeper. So you're, you're very open to things, open relationships, open mindedness, um, openness with um, a person with a connection um, because your curiosity is taking you there but the more you're curious the deeper you are getting into this connection and the more you explore it just know you're getting deeper and deeper now maybe you haven't thought about this very much maybe you thought it was quite light it wasn't intended to be this way maybe your person said okay well you know i'm not intending to get serious or this is not what i want but you will actually be surprised of how deep you both are in um <laughs> Especially if you haven't had a conversation about titles, if you haven't vocalized yourselves, if you haven't said how each other have felt or where is this going or all that type of, uh, all those types of things. If you haven't done that, I think it's, this reading is very much for you if you find yourself in that place. Um, because I feel like with that, um, you know, all the energy, what I'm getting here is all that energy, all that time spent, all that intimacy has actually built up something very powerful. And it almost has the two of you either obsessed or addicted or drawn to each other and you just sort of can't get enough. But I get with the full, the intention was never there to make it what it is or what it has become or what it will become. And you might be genuinely surprised, but with the Six of Wands, you could also be extremely happy. Something or someone that you opened your heart to, you opened up your um, time to, your life to, you could become very victorious with this. Six of Wands is victory, it's happiness. And because you rule over the ones, you're standing here. So you're in a good position. You're being elevated. Now, it could also be like with that energy, your energy is changing because of the way someone is elevating you. They're doing things for you. They're buying you gifts. They're making time for you. They're making sacrifices for you. They're changing for you. And, you know, what an amazing feeling to be on the receiving side of that. Um, and maybe that's why you're just in such a powerful energy um, because you feel... Your curiosity has led you to this connection and has led you to where you are now. And I think, to be honest, there's a lot more exploring to do. I don't think this is the end. I think things are about to get much more deeper than you intended. Um, and again, you're just going to be following that energy and trying to channel that energy as well. Very interesting, um, though, via signs, but I'll leave it at that. Thank you again for tuning in. It really does mean a lot. And hopefully we shall be in touch very, very soon. So please take care and bye for now.